A Boy Scout is standing at the crosswalk of a busy intersection in Bangkok and sees an elderly woman carrying some bags, struggling to make her way across the street. The woman drops some of her belongings. And as the lights are about to change, the boy runs out to assist the woman. In the confusion, he drops his mobile phone and leaves it in the street while he helps the woman to safety. Just as the light changes and traffic starts to rush forward, the boy runs out to retrieve his phone, where he is hit by a bus and killed. The scene then shifts to protagonist Fuhit Pwengnathong. Fu Chit Fung Nathung. Chris Arda Sukosol Clap. A struggling Yamaha Corporation salesman. He arrives at a potential client's school to find that a co-worker from his firm has already made the sale. His girlfriend, Mife, has recently dumped him to become a pop star. He lives alone in a small apartment. The next morning, he finds that his car has been repossessed. He arrives at work and is called into his boss's office and is forced to resign due to his lack of sales. He goes out to the stairwell to gather his thoughts and have a cigarette. He then discovers he has no more. He has a big stack of overdue bills from credit companies. However, his mobile phone is still working. His mother calls. She needs some money to pay for his younger brother's schooling. Poochit agrees to send her some money. Angrily, he crumples his credit card statements and bills and throws them to the floor. His phone rings again. The caller says Fahit has a chance to win 10,000 baht. Fahit is ready to hang up. Thinking the call is cruel joke being played on him by his co-workers or friends. But then the caller tells Fahit his full name. Age employment status and other details that makes Fahit stay on the line. To win the 10,000 baht, all he has to do is swat a fly which is at that very moment buzzing around him and has been pestering him the whole time he has been sitting in the stairwell. The caller even says there is a rolled up newspaper nearby. Fachit grabs the paper and swats the fly. He immediately receives a message that 10,000 baht has been transferred to his bank account. His phone immediately rings again. The caller says Fahit will win more money if he eats the dead fly. He goes back to his desk, holding the fly while debating whether to eat it. One of his co-workers, a friend, Tong, a cheetah Sikamana, comes to see him. Just as he pops the fly into his mouth, she is stunned and is not sure what to say to him. Fahit receives another phone call. The caller explains that if he completes 11 more tasks, he will win 100 million baht. Needing the money, Fahit reluctantly agrees to the play the game. The caller explains that if he quits the game or anyone discovers that he is playing the game, He'll forfeit all his winnings so far. For the third stunt, he is told he must make some children cry. This act makes Fahit recall his childhood, in which his father crushed his toys by stomping on them. Fushit's father, a farang named John Adams, Philip Wilson, had married his Thai mother, Sukulia Konkawong. Next, Fahit must steal coins from a beggar. For his fifth stunt, Fahit is told to go to a fine Chinese restaurant. He is brought a covered plate that contains feces and he is told that he must eat it. This makes Fahit recall when some bullies tried to make him eat dog feces when he was a child. The stunts grow increasingly degrading, unlawful and deadly. His sixth is to fight with a gang of school-age thugs while riding a public bus in order to get Another mobile phone. He must jump down a well and drag up the corpse of a dead man. He has to beat up his ex-girlfriend Mayu's new boyfriend with a chair. Next. He must break an elderly woman. The same old woman from the first scene. Out of a hospital. The game causes Fahit to recall his childhood. 
when he was beaten by his cruel Farang father, was taunted by bullies and other bad memories. Meanwhile, Fushet's friend Tong is concerned about the strange behavior she witnessed earlier in the office and later in the Chinese restaurant and putting together clues overheard at the police station. She goes to her computer at work and gets on the internet. A computer expert. She manages to hack into a website for a game called 13. However, unbeknownst to her, she is being watched. And unwittingly, she is made part of the game. A police detective, Sarachai, also becomes involved. And comes close to catching Fahit. He believes the crime spree is linked to something much larger. And it is hinted he has suspicions about the existence of the game. However, Fahit evades capture. And a higher ranking police official orders Sarachai to call off the pursuit. Eventually, Tong's life is put at risk. She discovers the place where the game is being run from and confronts the game's mastermind, a young boy named Ki, who tells Tong he is powerless to stop the game, saying he is just a component in the live underground reality game involves players and viewers that perhaps number in the thousands. Fahit finds himself confronted by his abusive father, John Adams, who is strapped in a wheelchair, wearing a straitjacket and appears to be unconscious. To win the 100 million baht, Fahit must stab Adams with a butcher knife. Fahit is unable to do this, recalling that what guided him through his painful childhood and disappointing life was his mother's desire that he never become a bad person like his father. Adams wakes up and stabs Fahit to death, therefore winning his own game. Tong screams at Ki, and Ki leaves as his minions hold her. Tong later wakes up on a bus bench and is found by Sarachai as he continues to investigate.